how to turn this into something good. Hello and welcome back to another Beaver Brew Day. As you saw in the intro, we made some pretty cloudy distillate. Now, uh, this was not my intention. My intention started out to take a Mampur or a brandy, a lemon brandy to be exact, and turn it into a vodka. But over eager me, as um, always, I went overboard with the amount of lemon peels that I put into the gin basket slash reflux chamber. So when I started the distillation and those are not familiar with the channel, I normally fill my sight glass over here with some uh, beautiful botanicals that I can infuse. I went overboard and I added a couple of fistfuls of fresh lemon peels as well as some dried ones and yeah. Distillation run went perfectly well. Uh, the distillate came off nice and clear at a beautiful high ABV. And the moment I proofed it down, it went all cloudy. What do we do now? Do we throw it away? Or do we add it into our veins? Or do we uh, turn it into something good? I opted to turn it into something good. Because the flavor of this because of the excessive amounts of lemon peel was absolutely or is absolutely fantastic. It is a burst of lemon. If you open the lid, you are hit with that beautiful citrus smell. It smells like when you open a lemon twist. I don't know if uh, our American friends know what a lemon twist is, but there will be a picture here somewhere. It just Tasted awesome. I decided I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna turn it into a couple of liqueurs, liqueurs, whatever you wanna call it. So we are going to do a trio. First of all, is sparkles. Sparkles in South Africa. Don't know if it's available in the rest of the world, but is a hard, rock hard sugar candy that is a uh, flavor. And I'll be using dark yellow, which is a lemon flavor and a light green, which is the lime flavor, to play off of this current beautiful citrus flavor. And then, just for the fun of it, we are going with some super seeds. Now, once again, I don't know where it is available in the world, but here in South Africa, it's quite a common sweet, a lacquer lacquer. This is the orange flavored ones, and I think it's gonna pair well with the citrus flavor we have in here. Let's get into turning, uh, this into something presentable and it tastes absolutely fantastic. Step one, so we don't overpower it with that candy sweetness, we are gonna add some fresh lemon peel just to cut through that excessive sweetness and give that nice fresh citrus flavor. We're gonna add a couple of lemon peels to each of the bottles. percent ABV is supposed to be vodka. With the smashing and crushing 
crushing done and everything added into the bottles we have finished our three infusions so we have a lime flavored supposed to be lemon vodka we have a lemon flavored supposed to be lemon vodka and we have a orange flavored supposed to be lemon vodka now these three vodkas or vodkas over here will be put onto the shelf for a week and every day when i walk past it i'll just give it a quick shake up just to ensure that everything infuses nicely after the week what we're going to do is we're going to filter this through a cheesecloth or a coffee filter it depends on what you have access to just to remove any solid particulate including the lemon peel then put it into a bottle and enjoy now what can you use this for if you are an adventurous type and you want to make some adventurous shooters these things will make awesome shooters put them in the fridge right in the freezer get them nice and chilled and take them like a flavored vodka shot use them in cocktails pour them on ice or yeah go crazy with it it has a beautiful rich lemon flavor even if you just use straight vodka and you did not mess up like i did these ones these sweets sparkles and super seas add a fantastic flavor to your spirits so yeah even if you don't have naturally not naturally but own the store product available to yourself you can always just go to the store and buy some vodka okay. so just to clarify this is not a way to disguise your tails i did not put any tails into the first product that you saw in the beginning of the video it was purely a product that came off the store from 90 percent to 60 percent and the moment we added water oils got pulled out of solution and it went cloudy on me so instead of throwing it all out or adding it to my faints i tasted it and it tasted awesome and then we decided to do this if you have cloudy distillate straight off the still like we have over here do not use it those fusel oil flavors will just get worse and worse the more you dilute it with water the distillate that came off this and the product that went into this was as clear as the bottle I have in my hand. This is actually one of the jars of this exact same product. So yeah, just to clarify, it is not to disguise your titles. Cool. Now, if you want to make this and you have access to your own still at home, what you're going to do is you're going to follow the recipe that I'll link up here. And that is for my lemon brandy or my cinnamon mampur and that will give you the base that I used for this and then all you do is like we, like I said in the previous video that I did the five tips for any fruit wash we kept the peels and we put the peels into the infusion chamber so the vapor travels through it and pulls out some of that nice rich vibrant citrus flavors so yeah as always Thank you very much for sticking around all the way to the end and you must have a lucky day. Mm -hmm.